All right. Well, the good news is you don't have to explore an alpha somewhere else. You can explore one with Trinity Church. So we actually have a little handout I want to give to everyone. Uh, Andrew and Natalie, who are leading Alpha this semester, are going to be giving you this little handout. This is a 21-day prayer campaign that we're launching today as a church. So I'm going to talk you through this. And uh, so the small groups that Cole talked about, you know, we're doing four small groups this semester, and Alpha is one of those small groups. And all the groups are important, and there might be a particular group that you just say, I just need to go to this particular group, that's the group for me. But it might be that Alpha is your group, and it might be particularly that Alpha is your group to be part of this semester because you have somebody in your life who you think this would be a, a great thing for them to come to. They're exploring, they're, they're, they're interested in uh, faith questions, spiritual questions, whether it's Christianity in particular or Jesus in particular, or they're just somebody who is, is open to these kind of things. Perhaps you're going to be a part of this group because you've got somebody that you can bring or multiple people that you can bring. So let me talk about this 21-day uh, prayer campaign. So here's what I want to ask you to do. I want to ask you to join me and join our other leaders. Join Andrew and Natalie are going to be doing this with me, but join us in committing to this 21-day prayer campaign because basically this, this Alpha Small Group starts in about 21 days. And this is based off of Luke chapter 11, verse 2, which is the beginning of the Lord's Prayer where Jesus is teaching them how to pray. And he says, you know, uh, hallowed be your name, your, your kingdom come, your kingdom come. That's the prayer, that's the Luke 11, 2 prayer is God, your kingdom come. So go ahead and uh, open up this, this bro- I'm sure you've already opened it up, but open this up. We're gonna go through, uh, we've got three simple steps here. This is the call. So firstly, what we wanna do is we wanna write down the names of three people that we would like to explore faith. So we each want to think, and if you're doing this on, you know, online, obviously you don't have a, a physical copy of this, but you can imagine it along with us, right? Um, think of three people in your life that you think, this person might be interested in exploring faith with me. And I want to write down in these bo- blo- boxes here on the right-hand side, I'm going to write a name in each box. And then I'm going to set an alarm for 11.02 every day as a reminder to pray for those three people and for uh, our city for the next 21 days. So go ahead, pull out your phone. Let's go ahead and do this right now. A double dog dare you. Physical challenge. 11.02. I'm doing it right now, guys. Go on, go, this is the only time you're allowed, well, one of the times you're allowed to get your uh, device out in church. Luke 11.2. Okay, and you can look up that verse as well if you want to, pray, even pray, pray through the whole Lord's Prayer, uh, but it starts off there, hallowed be your name, your kingdom come. We want to pray every day, make sure you set it for every day, 21 days. I think there's real power in our church joining together in prayer every day at the same time at 1102 to start to pr- specifically pray for the three people that are on my mind and on my heart, each of us. And then the third thing is be open and expectant to see how God might use you. Oftentimes we will say, we'll, we'll, we'll decide for somebody else that it's not the right thing for them. Like, well, you know, they're, you know, I have a good connection with them and, you know, they know I'm a believer, but they don't want to come to this whatever it might be. We make excuses. Maybe we answer for people we shouldn't. Here's what we need to do instead. We need to have faith, and we need to pray, and we need to ask God, God, give me the opportunity. Give me the moment to extend that invitation. Now, even if you join another group, or you're a leader of another small group this semester, and you can't be a part of Alpha, you can still do this, because it might be that you have somebody that, that they go, they attend this without you, or it could be that they say yes, and you say, all right, now I'm doing two groups this semester, because I want to do this other group, and I really want my friend to come to this alpha group. So that's the prayer campaign that we're launching today. And I want to encourage you, you know, as, you, as your alarm goes off at 11.02 each day, be thinking in your mind, I'm joining with all, or many, maybe not everyone, but, but lots of other people at Trinity who are also at the same time praying for their friends and praying for these opportunities to invite people to alpha. How, wouldn't it be amazing if God saved some people in our church if we're all praying or save people through our church, used, used our, our witness to, to bring people into faith, wouldn't it be amazing if we all 
not just prayed for three people, but we all invited three people to come. Think of what God could do through that. 